Good afternoon. It's a new way to have a baby. Britain has become the first country in the world to approve a controversial treatment known as three-parent IVF. It allows couples to make a baby with DNA from three different people. Tina Krauss reports from London. Order. After a 90-minute debate, British lawmakers said yes to creating babies using DNA from three people. The IVF technique is aimed at preventing infants from being born with certain genetic diseases, including the incurable illness four-year-old Poppy inherited. Her speech is very uh, challenged for someone who's four, um, and yeah, just her overall quality of life isn't that of a, a normal four-year-old, sadly. Poppy has mitochondrial disease, which can cause deadly heart problems, brain disorders, and muscular dystrophy. James and Catherine Kitto worry Poppy and her older sister Lily could one day pass the genetic disease onto their own children. I think a change in the law to allow this procedure to, to take place will uh, you know, definitely give, give our two girls a, um, an important option. The goal of three-parent IVF is to create genetically modified embryos that use healthy DNA from a female donor. Some religious groups and critics say it's unethical and one step closer to producing designer babies. This will be the first time that we would uh, intentionally manipulate the human genome. It's something that governments around the world have agreed for the last 20 years that we shouldn't do. But supporters of three-person IVF say it's safe and will give hope to families like the Kittos. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. Experts estimate only about a dozen British women would be considered for the new technique every year. The first three-person IVF baby could be born as soon as next year. Brad?